So I get a lot of questions on my channel and also by private message. And one of the questions received today was to debunk the flat earth claim that the Tesla tires would explode in space. Now that's a very easy thing to debunk. What we have to understand is that the sea level air pressure is only 14.7 pounds per square inch. Now that's quite low. And if you think about the amount of air pressure that you put in the tires of a car, it's usually 30 psi or higher. And in fact, in my car, I use 32 psi. So if we were going into space, the pressure differential in the tire is going to change by 14.7 pounds per square inch. So when we're on the ground at sea level, we have external air pressure of 14.7 pounds per square inch. The pressure differential in the tire is the pressure inside the tire versus the pressure outside the tire. Now, if we go from sea level to a vacuum in space, the pressure differential is increasing by 14.7 pounds per square inch. So we can test that very easily just by taking our normal car tire and increasing the pressure by 14.7 psi. Let's round that up to 15 psi to go even higher. And as you will see in the following demonstration, I do that with my own car. I increase the PSI from 32 PSI up to 47. So that's a 15 PSI increase. It's simulating the pressure differential that you would experience if the tires were put into space. And as you will see very clearly, there's no explosion. So the flat earth claim that the tires on the Tesla would explode if it was put into space in a vacuum is completely incorrect. 14.7 psi is quite low. In fact, the aircraft I fly has a cabin differential of more than 10 psi. And that means when we're flying at 40,000 feet, when the external air pressure, ambient air pressure is 2.71 psi, we are able to maintain an internal cabin pressure of about 4,500 feet. So it's very comfortable on long extended flights to have a cabin pressure of about 4,500 feet. If you compare that to the airlines such as Qantas, they're generally around six to 7,000 feet cabin altitude. So it's quite more fatiguing. So if we look at our scenario of the Tesla using the standard tire pressures and we increase the pressure in the tires by 15 psi, we can test if the tires are actually going to explode and I do that with my own car. So the current pressure in the tire is 32 psi as you can see. What we're going to do is inflate the tire to 47 psi and see if it's going to explode. So I'll just disconnect. I'll increase that to 47 psi. We will reconnect and I'll just hold it. It's now inflating. So we're inflating the tire to 15 psi higher than the normal operating pressure. So there it is at 47 psi. There was no explosion. The tire is perfectly fine. Exploding tires in space, fully debunked. So as you saw in that demonstration, by increasing the pressure differential in the tire, there was no explosion. In fact, there was no adverse effect on the tire at all. So if we look at the scenario of the Tesla in space, even if the tires were inflated to the normal road value, increasing that pressure differential by 15 psi 
would not cause the tyres to explode. However, it is very likely that the pressure was reduced to 15 or even 10 psi before takeoff. And when you increase that by the 14.7 psi of being in space, the pressure differential inside the tyre is no different to what it would be on the ground. So there is no chance at all that the tyre is going to explode. It is simply another misunderstanding that flat earthers have. The tyres will not explode in space.